Hey guys, welcome to Vibe Room, and we are your hosts. I am your favorite black boy, E Black. I'm the best All right, today we have a very special guest, someone that we are very, very happy he was able to honor our invitation. And I would have loved to do the introduction, but I feel like I'll be depriving Yi of this great opportunity to do this introduction. So let me just take it. So here guys, here with us, we have today former BBN housemate, former Mr. Nigeria. He's tall, he's sexy, he's amazing, his fashion sense blows my mind. Hmm. He's possibly my future husband, Sorry. but um, we'll get to that. Stop. Here with us, we have Prince Nelson. How are you? Uh, nice to meet you. Thank you for honoring our invitation. It's we are so happy to have you on. It's my pleasure. Yeah, excited. Yeah. It's really excited. How have you been so far? I've been great. I've, I've been amazing. God has been faithful. Definitely. Definitely. That's life. And how do you tend to merge your activities, being an actor, being a model, being CEO of Hairwell? How do you how do you to manage all of that? Um, it's just planning, to be honest. And um, I've been able to um, surround a great team around me because, yeah. you know, it takes the dream team to make the dream work, yeah. you know. Um, the people who are around me who are constantly giving their 100% to see that everything that I think about that we can bring it to life you know um, shout out to them from my manager to you know to my road manager my stylist my friends to be honest uh, and of course my amazing fans they, they they build a wonderful ecosystem around me that makes everything yeah, very simple yeah. Oh, what's, what's that? What's that name? There's this um, slogan they have for you. Uh, Royal Army. Royal Army. That's why we're bring. You know? <laughs> we're, we're ready for you. <laughs> okay. Speaking of acting, man, I can remember your role, the man of God, mm -hmm. pastor role. That role was actually very, very difficult. <laughs> like you know, looking at you, you seem to me like a playboy. So, so like, I'm trying to like think how you were able to manage to play that role. Pastor, how were you able to do that stuff perfectly? So, um, I actually, when I got the scripts and um, I read it and I saw that it was actually for a pastor, I was very happy to be honest. I was very happy because one of the things that I don't want to, you know, um, I don't want to happen to me in the industry, especially in the um, acting industry, is to be typecast. I don't want to be put, put in a box where. Um, yeah, it's just this type of role that this person, they think this person can play and they only wait for when that role is available. I want to be able to do different things. I want to play the popper, the rich kid, you know, the pastor, the police guy, everything. I want to be able to, yeah, I want to be able to, you know, show the different sides of my acting prowess. And, you know, that was a great opportunity for me, you know, and um, the producer, and director of Bolale of St. Peter's, when she called me and she was like, oh, um, we want you to be a part of this, I was very happy. And it was actually my first ever movie. Wow. Yeah, um, it was actually the first ever movie I starred in. And um, they were very warm, very um, accommodating. Sorry, very... like to get you right, the first ever movie you starred in, like, even when you started as a pastor, you were yeah. a pastor. Your first movie. Yeah. Wow, that was, that's yeah, amazing. Uh, Oh, yeah, of course. And uh, I did another one yeah. after that. Um, it's called Head of Abuse. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's been in cinemas. Mm -hmm. So I'm very happy that the two... And the role I did was the, like the opposite of yeah. what I did in yeah. Man of God. Okay. You know? And I'm currently on another series for Netflix. The first one, uh, Man of God, was a Netflix film. Yeah, yeah, sure. Head of, uh, of Abuse, cinema so film, much. currently on a uh, Netflix series. Yeah. Sure. How does that spotlight feel being an actor? How does the spotlight feel? I mean, it's it's yeah, to me it's one of those things, you know. It's a step in the right direction of where I want to go in my career. Yeah. And um, being an actor entails bringing to life different characters, yeah. you know, and making them very believable, mm -hmm. and having an opportunity to send a message with what you are doing. And for me, it's a very humbling thing to do. Oh, that's that's really nice. You know, I, I'm not really the movie type because I don't really like watching movies. I just when I heard you play the pastor role in mm. the Man of 
But I was like, hey, I need to, I was I was waiting for your own part. When I saw you, I was like, yeah. <laughs> are you serious? Okay, but um, apart from that, you know, apart from me thinking that you really wanted to be a pastor in your previous life, you know? <laughs> so apart from that, like, is there anything you would have preferred to do? Apart from acting, being a stylist, and I, I must say you're a very good stylist. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah, you. You're a very good stylist. I mean, we're matching already. So. <laughs> and and I, I want to say something before you answer this. I was supposed to say this before in the program. So there was a time I placed a comment on Instagram. I said, I love your your dress. I love how you dress. And anytime I see you, I'm going to take everything you're putting on. And I meant it. And you said, no problem. I don't remember. I remember <laughs> that's that's literally where you put yourself in trouble. And I, 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 don't, said, rem I don't remember replying to that day, comment. Any day I so see you would have to bring proof <laughs> of this comment. It is so fine. My Instagram is still there. No, you, have to, you have to bring proof. Our please, team. please, is, please our find team? until you bring proof, please. What, why is it to our team? Shoot your shots in peace, please. Yes, I'm not even sure he's, he's, he's into fair girls. He's, he's not, I'm not sure. So just rest. Yeah, so. Um, apart from apart from like doing all this other stuff yeah. that you do, what have you ever seen yourself doing? One of my childhood dreams. I've I've oh, I've loved a lot of things to be honest, and I I, I always see this even when I was having like um, question stuff with my with my fans on Twitter some time ago. Um, at different stages of my life growing up, I wanted to be different things. There were times that I wanted to be a footballer. At times I wanted to be a basketballer at times. But one, the greatest thing that if I felt like if I didn't, if I'm not doing what I am doing now, I would have loved to do was be an astronaut. I'm fascinated with the stars and the concept of the galaxy and, the moon. you know, all of that time travel and all of that stuff. It's, you know, it just blows my mind trying to know how the universe works. And it's actually what I studied in school. I, I'm a, I'm a, I graduated from the University of Calabar, I studied pure physics. Pure physics. You, you seem to me like the person that will not want to know about God, or you don't even believe God exists. Of, oh, come on now. I, 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 of course, I come from a very religious home. I, I have a personal relationship with God. So yes, it's not all scientists that do not that atheist. You know, I, I, you have to be able to separate your religion from what you learn. Hmm. Do you feel like if you have the opportunity right now to be an astronaut, would you take it immediately? I would hop on that. With no questions asked. I'm gone. So that means what you're <laughs> trying to tell us right now is that you're into this physics, like, it's in your blood. I love it. It's like every time I learn something new, yeah. I read something new, it fascinates me. It's like there's so much that we don't know. Mm -hmm. We are like when you look at the concept of you know the universe and the galaxies and all of that it's like we're a speck of dust mm. in the grand scheme of things and that is there's so much knowledge out there let me just let me just drop a, a mind-blowing fact hmm. yeah okay. time just things down. yes please jot things down so that i can think things <laughs> you know if if people um i don't know if you've ever heard of the speed of light Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, the sun, the light that we get from the sun is eight minutes late. So we're basically getting light from the past. And if people, and if, if there hypothetically is a planet mm -hmm. that is, let's say, 62 years, 62 light years away from Earth, mm -hmm. and they take a telescope and look at Earth from their planet and they see us they would actually be seeing us while we're still in colonization. <laughs> like, I this don't is just... even know where to understand. <laughs> I have I, so I have so, so, let, so, so, okay, let me, let me, let me, if, if there was a country, if there were, um, there were a planet that was, say, um, say, when was the election? Well, like Nigeria. 2015? 20, yeah. How many years ago? The last election. That? that was like 2019. 2019. That was like four how many years ago? ago? Four years ago or so? Ago, yeah, if there's, a, if there's a planet that's 4 billion light years away from Earth and they look at our, uh, they will probably be seeing 2019 now. We'll get more really So the last, last question is do you ever like regret anything? Like, do you have any regrets? Something you feel like? Um, 
Oh, no, actually, because I feel like everything for me, every according to the Bible, all things come together for the sake of good. I feel like everything that has happened, good or bad, mistakes that you've made has that I've made has, you know, been a part of what has brought me to here, to this place in the grand scheme of things. If you if you take an intricate look at your life and check actually check what are the things that you've done and how you've gone through things, you would actually see that at every point the decisions that you've made has led you to where you are right now yeah, so no i don't i don't regret anything sorry i i, I really want to ask this because you know as a very fine dark guy that you are that have true. you ever like been in an uncomfortable situation with like a fan something that um yeah it does happen you know every now and then uh but you, you have to be as pro a professional as possible yeah. you get so what's um, like the craziest thing a fan has done to you um there are times when I get unsolicited, you know, pictures in, in, in the DM, you know, uh, but, but it's okay. It's, uh, I just, I just scroll and keep going. I, well, I, I don't blame them because even when we, when we saw you, we were about to like, not even for professional, we'll just sell your shit and jump in your hand. So uh, that's, that's all the questions. Um, Thank you very much. We'll, we'll just play like one game and, you know, that's mm -hmm. like your wrap. So we just wanted to do this tongue twister thing. Okay. Um, vibe room is a vibe that brings vibes. How many times do you need me to say? Five, Five times. <coughs> vibe room is a vibe that brings vibes. Yeah. Vibe room is a vibe that brings vibes. <laughs> vibe room. <that> <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. Um, that's nice. For our last nice. segment. Just for the fans' sake, okay. we're just going to play one small game. It's called Two Truths and a Lie. You're going okay. to tell us two truths about yourself and one lie, and the fans get to decide which is the truth and which is the lie. Ha. Ah. Yes. Two truths and one two lie. Two truths and a lie. Mm -hmm. I don't know this one. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's like your signature game. So uh, it's it's for the fans. It's not really for. It's not for ah, us. I don't know. We, we, have, to, we, to we, have, we have to skip this one. <laughs> <laughs> so you're skipping our signature game. Yeah, I'll have to skip it because if I start thinking what truths and what lie, I I'll speak anything random. Nah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's so too hard. many possibilities. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Prince Nelson, aka Oriade, aka Wanky Bear, and I am on Vibe Room. Keep watching Vibe Room with E Black and Yeah. Thank, thank, thank you so very much. much. Watch out for the next episode, guys.